on column DNA extraction. Transfer PBS to a clean Eppendorf tube. Then collect the buckle sample using an OmniSwab device. Collect a buckle scraping for 30 seconds and release the swab into the tube with PBS. Add protease to sample. Then add lysis buffer. Transfer the sample to a heat block at 65 degrees C and after 10 minutes remove the sample and vortex for 30 seconds before removing the swab from the tube with forceps. and discard the swab. Add ethanol to your sample. Vortex for 20 seconds and then centrifuge briefly to settle the reagents. Remove the tubes from the centrifuge. Attach the column to the collection tube. And this shows the inside of the column. Transfer your entire sample onto the column. And remember to label your samples. Now centrifuge for one minute and you should see flow through at the bottom of the tube. Dispose of the liquid waste. And dispose of the collection tube as well and replace with a fresh collection tube. Now add wash buffer. And spin again. Dispose of the waste. and reattach to the collection tube. Repeat for wash steps, then a dry spin, 
and elution of DNA. Heat the elution buffer to 70 degrees C. Prepare this into the column and centrifuge. And the column should now be placed in an Eppendorf tube. This time keep the fl flow through and repeat elution step using flow through. After this, remove and discard the column. And keep the DNA on ice until needed. DNA quantification. Use the nanodrop spectrophotometer to quantify DNA in your sample and pipette a microliter on the silver dot and then analyse the DNA sample. You'll then obtain DNA yield and ratios and store samples in the freezer until they're needed.